but we're gonna see malik's closing statements okay so this must be the epilogue all right content warning drugs <laughs> is this his house now ever since rocky let you practice at his gala you somehow managed to stay booked and busy every weekend for the past few months producer turned party dj was not one of your goals but you can't lie and pretend the pay isn't worth it you did a gig last week at one of the local colleges and somehow walked out with 15k for a four hour set fifteen thousand dollars in four hours i need to be a dj <laughs> what you can't complain you really don't have it in you to do so you have to thank rocky eventually if it wasn't for him you would probably still be doing small gigs at listening parties your set at the gala helped your label realize your true potential and now you're making almost 70 grand a month Seventy grand? Oh my God, he is rich, rich. Cause making seventy grand in a year is all is already a decent amount of money, but a month? Oh my God, life is crazy. One day you're struggling to make ends meet because you wanted to get the new pair of Beezies and make rent. Now you're putting on a new pair every day of the week in an apartment you never imagined yourself in. You're grateful. Your hard work finally paid off. But why does it feel like something is still missing? Because he wants a lover. He needs somebody to share it with. Could share it with them kids of yours, but I know he doesn't want to. Your relationship with your mother has gotten better in the past few years. Ever since she realized she hated your father, she has been more patient with you. Feels like she doesn't resent you anymore. Well, that's good. You wonder if her resentment was actually towards you or your father. You always got the brunt of it while your father remained unscathed. You hate that man, but at least you're not the only one now. The doorman in the lobby lets you and the kids in. They even toss them some candy from the candy bowl. You two got acquainted when you surprised your mother with the keys to her new apartment. She didn't believe you and he had to help convince her that the apartment was indeed real and in her name. Okay, so he finally got his mom that house he promised. Oh, he got a new fit on. I don't really like it too much, but it's a new fit nonetheless. Thank you. We finally get to meet. The, we finally get to meet Roman. <laughs> After all this time. Preschool student Malik's son. How old is Malik? He's a preschool student right now. Isn't he supposed to be older than her? Isn't she, is she a preschool student? Okay. Thank you, mister. You give. Uh, he is supposed to be biracial too, isn't he? You give him a nod of gratitude as you make your way to the elevator. Daddy, can we eat it now? You just had pancakes 20 minutes ago. Okay. You can eat candy at any point, you know? And what about it? You look like Huey from the Boondocks. <laughs> he looks like a mix of Huey and Riley. He acts just like his mother. It takes everything in you to not give him a look. Your resentment towards his mother isn't his fault. You really don't feel like arguing with two five-year-olds about eating candy at 10 30 a.m they're both five they're both the same age how i'm so confused by the timeline okay fine here you quickly unwrap it for them you are dropping them off at their grandmother's house so whatever happens after this point isn't your problem Good morning, Nana. Good morning, Nana. Your kids bust into your mother's apartment like bats out of hell, going straight for the knock you off your feet hug. She's used to this by now. She bends down to embrace them. Oh, this is his mom. Oh, her, her hair got some texture to it. Like her hair has like a certain texture to it that we haven't seen in the art style yet. That's interesting. Uh, now, if it isn't my favorite children, Affy, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm going to say Affy, secretary at the mayor's office. <laughs> she pulls away, giving them a better look. Now, who gave you candy this early? <laughs> the doorman. Daddy said we can eat it now. 
You're already halfway towards the kitchen to avoid whatever look your mother is trying to give you. Like you said, not your problem right now. You set the empty containers on a countertop, looking in the fridge for new ones. No matter how old you are, nothing hits better than a home-cooked meal. That is true. Her cooking is unique, or maybe that's the nostalgia talking. Whatever it is, it brings you comfort, and it gives you an excuse to see your mother every Sunday. That's nice. She's still your mother despite everything. You can't blame her for her resentment or the way she treated you because your father had a massive part to play in that. I mean, you could blame her a little bit. <laughs> you could never hate her. She's the only person besides Abina who had your back for a very long time. She, encounter she encouraged you to do whatever made you happy no matter how many times your father said you were wasting your life. You're glad you listened to her, but having to see your mom promote Coochie Man <laughs> on her head book with all her of your aunties and uncles isn't something you like to think about. That's awkward, honestly. You fear the next family wedding you are forced to attend and the questions that will come with it. Like soup, you're spoiling me, mom. Who said that was for you? <laughs> Abina is coming uh, is Abina is coming over later. It's hers. She has been asking me for some time to make her some. So I can't have any? I set aside a smaller container for you. It's behind the big one. You should be grateful. Your mother is taking time out of her day to cook for you, but it hurts. You feel faint. The light is fading. <laughs> I'll make you a big pot next week. On second thought, maybe you can live another day. <laughs> Thanks, mom. He's such a he's such a big kid. <laughs> You walk towards her, pulling her into a hug. It's only been a week since the last time you've seen her, but you can't lie. At heart, you've, you've always been a mama's boy. Her hugs were always so warm, even if you've outgrown her. You remember when she used to take you in and in Abina to the movies, to the zoo, and to her favorite place, the museum. She always worked on the, week, on the weekdays, but she made sure to save Sundays for her children. She's a good woman. You wish your dad didn't ruin her life for so long. You wish you could have saved her sooner. You look strong. Have you been at the gym? Yeah, I got a trainer and we've been working to get me to get me back in shape. He talking about Alonzo right there. Literally. Oh, it's been working off. One of the secretaries in the office has been taking more to her yoga classes. It's relaxing and very healing. I even ordered a map from what do they call that site? B Bamazon? <laughs> I guess it's like Amazon. Bamazon? Did Abina teach you? Of course she did. Remember how she was always ordering nonsense on eBay? I like how eBay is still eBay. Just one letter different. That was both of you, but she doesn't have to know that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. It was always clothes. And shoes for yourself, but she doesn't need to know that either. Anyways. I got two for the kids. I want to start teaching them how to relax early. That's that's the good thing. I could have gone to the store and gotten. You stop as you notice the look she's giving you. Yeah, you'll leave this one alone. I mean, that's great. I've been trying to find a good gymnastic place for Rhea. She's been jumping around the house for weeks now. And ever since you gave Roman that basketball, he hasn't stopped playing with it. The overwhelming feeling of stress engulfed you the moment you realized how much of a time commitment both of these those sports are. Alice would kill you if you added anything more to her schedule. You don't have time for all those activities. You hardly have enough time to be a father. Your mother is staring at you hard before she realizes what is happening. Her hand finds your shoulder. Roman, Rhea, there's a surprise in your rooms. Want to go look at it? He about to get good old mom talking. They don't even answer, but you hear the sound of running and the loudest scream you think you have heard come out of Rhea's mouth. Nana got me a Switch. Oh, a Nintendo Switch? Okay. Me too. Oh, they both got Switches? Oh, wait. They probably don't know in the same house. <laughs> that should occupy them for, for a time. Come with me. What's wrong? I I don't think what I was meant to be a dad. I'm tired, mom. I'm really tired. Uh oh. 
I thought this would get easier now that I have money. I really thought getting some money would make this easier, but it's not. It's harder. They're older and want to do things. I don't have time to be a dad and do the work I do. I travel all the time. I'm never here during the week. And when I am, I'm with them. I don't have time for myself anymore. It's so, f I mean, stupid. I love them. I really do. But I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Goodness, you don't want to be a father anymore? Everything in my life is perfect but this. Oh, goodness. No one's life is perfect. You're 28. You shouldn't know. 28? Didn't the last time he said he was 29? Okay, whatever. You should know this by now. You should know this. Nothing in your life is perfect, but you're tired. All your life, something has been wrong. You've never been given a moment of peace. Life is exhausting. No one told you adulthood would make you realize how exhausting life is. You don't realize you're crying until you feel the familiar touch of your mother's hand against your cheek. Aww. Kind of sad. <laughs> Why the music stop so abruptly? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, I love you in a kin. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Familiar words you heard often as a child. She was so kind to you when you were younger. Her coldness towards you as you got older hurt you more than anything. Coldness or not, she seems to be working on herself. Abina did say she liked the therapist she picked out for her. Yep, a lot of people need therapy. Not even like in a rude way, just a lot of people need therapy. Why did the music disappear? Not weird. It's something no one teaches you. How to be an adult. I know. I should have done more. I should have helped you into being a more. I was raised by my siblings. I didn't have anyone to. There's a long pause. You're unsure if you're allowed to speak. You've done more listening, less talking these days. The women in your life seem to thank you for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. Why did it get so quiet? Okay, so the sound is fine. I don't know why. It's like no music at this point. I do. I do. I could have been better for you. Your dad, he just... He made it so hard to do anything. After all these years, I realized I hate that man. He ruined everything. He turned me into someone I never thought I would be. Mom. You don't know what to say. It's your turn to comfort her mom it's not your fault he messed all of our lives up when was the last time Mabina talked to him a few years no nine years oh wow she was serious when she said never again she's stubborn just like don't say that you're right that isn't fair I'm sorry you're surprised. She really has been getting, but she really has been going to therapy. The mother you grew up with would never admit she was wrong, let alone apologize. The stubbornness really came from her. Okay, that's nice. It's fine. Look, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I'll figure this out. Once again, why is this so freaking quiet? <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I'll figure this out. Alice is going on tour soon, and then I will have Rhea full time. And then I was supposed to go to Europe for a few gigs, and I'll take her full time. What? Full time? This can't be real. She would never offer this. Sure, she loves your kids, but... But what? Seriously? Yes. I've been thinking about it. I want to retire and I know I'll be bored all by myself in this house. Goodness, that poor girl not going to have none of her parents in her life. Oh, goodness. I'll take Roman too. Tara favors me, remember? Tara does like her. A little too much, actually. You never really understood their relationship. But your mother has gotten you out of a lot of fights with her. Is, is Tara too busy? They never mentioned Tara being too busy, so why would she take Roman? You can't say yes. You should try to be a better father, a better parent for your kids. But your career is going so well right now. You're in your prime. You're living a dream you, you've wanted to live for years. 
that's kind of crazy to like abandon your kids for fame kind of crazy okay i'll talk to alice about it i already have she said yes we had a similar conversation she's tired too maybe you should talk to her oh my god none of the parents want a parent <laughs> You should have known they were talking. Your mother was her biggest supporter during her pregnancy, despite her dislike of the situation. You should talk to her. It's been a while. I will. You pause. Remember one of the main reasons you came here? Ma, look at this. You got a tattoo? You pull up your sleeve, revealing your new tattoo. It's you. That's her? Because that don't look like her. <laughs> oh, look, the music's back. That really don't look like her, though. Why did you... She grabbed your arm, staring at the artwork. Oh, she's upset. <laughs> he, he did not see that coming. Goodness, where's the words? Is this a long silence? That usually isn't a good sign. It looks very nice. How much did it cost? Not much. You're lying. It costs nearly $3,000. Oh my God. And I heard like hell. You won't lie and pretend you didn't shed a few tears. He is like mad rich now though. Like he makes $70,000 a month. So $3,000 for him really is nothing. You're my mom. I wanted to show you how much I love you. Oh, that's nice. You didn't have to get a tattoo to show that. <laughs> but it is very nice. I look pretty. Glad you like it, mom. It's a scam call, but you really don't want to be in this situation much longer. This is stressing you out. Hey, I got to go. I'm supposed to meet up with someone. I'll tell Alice to expect you. Damn, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for this, for everything. I love you. I love you, too. Let me know when I can come by and get, your, get her stuff. Yes, Mom, later. You linger at the doorway before moving to give her another hug. You've always been a mama's boy. You're glad she's let you back into her arms again. That was a nice moment for them. She was right. You were going to Alice's apartment to talk things out. Okay, this epilogue is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but I do want to finish it. Oh, goodness. You used to come here so often, and now you rarely see her. She was your best friend for so long, and now you feel like strangers. Fame does crazy things. Also, wasn't her career taken off? Is she still living at a regular apartment? <laughs> You don't bother calling. You just walk up and ring the doorbell. If she's home, she'll answer. If she isn't, you can go home and pretend you didn't just attempt to reach out. Avoiding your ex because it hurts to see her is typical 28-year-old man behavior. Too bad she answered the door. <laughs> hey, I would have thought you were avoiding me, but I guess I was wrong. I would never avoid the mother of my child. So why haven't you responded to my calls? Uh... She got you there. Truth is, you have been avoiding her. Now that you're famous, you've gotten a lot more attention from women, and sometimes men, who most likely only want you because you have status in the city now. But Alice never was like that. She liked you for you. Even when you were broke and didn't know what you wanted to do, she sat by your side. She supported you until your dreams became her dreams, and her dreams came true. Still, you know you will find that connection with someone else. You have to. You don't know what will happen if you don't. Look, yes, I have, but it's for a good reason. And what is that? What is the reason? It's, is it about to come out? It's stupid. The reason is stupid. It just, it hurts seeing you sometimes. Oh, I guess he's not actually. <laughs> You shouldn't have said that. You clearly hurt her and now you have to deal with the consequences. I mean, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You did. Fine. Shit. All right, fine. It's hard seeing you sometimes. I need to move on, but I can't. I haven't met anyone who has matched your energy. No one else makes me feel the way you do. And I thought avoiding you would help me get over it, but it isn't helping at all. And now I don't know what to do. Maybe avoiding your best friend isn't that good of an idea. Before all of this, remember what we were? Friends. We were friends. 
and you can't avoid me haven't i taught you anything you can't you never were able to you two were like magnets always finding your way back to each other like some soulmate shit also you share a kid so it's kind of easy to stay connected <laughs> i'm sorry i remember i really am i should be better to you uh-huh keep going and i i'll never avoid you ever again and and she gives you a look that look oh if you wanted to smoke why didn't you just say that <laughs> what <laughs> you quickly run to your car to grab a pre-roll dispensary level shit you can afford it might as well indulge race you to the roof deal you somehow beat her former track star alice brown has been beaten by the man who got a gym membership and a personal trainer no less than a year ago you will never let her live this one down thanks for letting my mom take Rhea. i know it's probably hard on you hard on me eh kinda i don't know she don't like being a mom so it ain't hard on her <laughs> i'm too busy i feel bad when i can't take her places because i have to travel yeah i felt that we weren't meant for this yeah but at least we know that instead of still trying to force this shit we can be better when she's older that's insane to say they said forget her childhood oh wow we we as co-parents i don't want you waiting for me it's not going to happen <laughs> we have and will always be better as friends she's right you've been forcing this idea in your head for years that one day she would come back to you convincing yourself that the relationship you two had wasn't one-sided but she never wanted it she wanted more than than you you're still unsure what that is but you have to accept it isn't you and move on with your life finally he's gonna move on from alice he brought her up all the time steam getting choppy she's the worst mom of all time she is the worst mom of all time oh my god yeah right well i mean okay yeah friends you're always going to be my little stink link stink link she hugs you you usually feel butterflies but for once they seem to have calmed down you feel normal with her now the anxiety that kept your shoulders up tight like you were walking on eggshells around her has dispersed into the afternoon air yeah yeah sure you're a little stinkling <laughs> i'll stop avoiding you i promise if you don't i'll show up to your doorstep next time i know where you live and your agent is very easy to reach <laughs> promise you bring up your pinky to her and she quickly wraps her own around it giving it a firm shake if you break it i'm breaking your shit <laughs> she's serious and you know it you don't answer instead you pass her back the joint you're getting better at this adult shit it isn't as bad as you thought it would be it doesn't matter that you were just sobbing in your mother's arms that was then this is now you're hope for, hopeful for the future with every story there are bumps in the road to help the character reach their goal that doesn't make sense your new therapist has been putting all of these metaphors into your head and only some of them make sense you understand that one the best she was right there are some there are some bumps in the road that have kept you from being where you are now you have a long life ahead of you goals you are so close to achieving and you're finally comfortable with the state of your life you wonder how long that will last for now you're enjoying a joint with your best friend you should focus on that for now coming to terms okay malik really has grown and he has gotten some success I don't know if that's the end or not. I'm I'm actually not sure. We gonna see. We gonna see. 96. Game ending. Uh is everyone's game ending the same? I guess I'm gonna have to assume it is because otherwise i don't know <laughs> i'm going to assume the game indeed is the same for everyone and it's going to happen when the game ends that's the only guess i have but either way that means we are done with malik uh finally 